crime up 30% here in Martin County while it's down in the rest of the state. The sheriff of Martin County says yes, those numbers are true, but frankly, he says misleading. And he's got one particular set of people to blame. We are getting pounded by offenders traveling up here from south of us, Dade and Broward specifically. Sheriff William Snyder says it's not violent crimes that are sending his crime stats through the roof, but property crimes by criminals who don't even live here. For example, in June, a deputy watched as a car drove in through the exit gate of this gated community. Inside, three men from Palm Beach County. 18-year-old Jean-Louis Lewinka on probation for opium sales and 19-year-old Mats Victorin, who admitted a bottle of Bacardi rum was his. A search of the car turned up a stolen gun, brass knuckles, two knives, an asp, a ring with a spike, and a black hoodie. We have a lot of Things here to steal. We have expensive boats, we have expensive cars, we have beautiful neighborhoods, and we're only a couple few exits away from Dade and Broward. And they come up here, we catch them with GPSs, they know what they're doing, they come up here and they specifically target uh, Martin County. Snyder says they're using tag readers, video surveillance, stopping cars at the exits leading to the county. But it's hard catching criminals who breeze in, steal things, and breeze back out. I stand by my assertion this is one of the safest counties in the state of Florida, and this should just be an anomaly in the statistics. So again, the sheriff says the best thing you can do, Martin County, is lock your doors, put your cars in the garage, and keep out a watchful eye for criminals.